I'm Anil Kumar and here are my thoughts about sketching graph of trigonometric functions with negative angles. Explain steps to sketch the graph of y equals to sine minus theta. A very simple question indeed. Now, how do we look at it? When we have y equals to minus theta, we could see this question as y equals to minus of theta could be written as y equals to minus sine theta, right? So sine of minus theta is minus sine theta. That is one way of looking at it, right? So we could actually, so basically there are two different ways we could treat this equation as. Now if I am looking at this equation as y equals to minus sine theta, then then we have what? Then we have horizontal reflection on y-axis, right? So that is the way we can see this equation as. But if we write this as minus of sine theta, then it becomes a vertical reflection. Do you see that? Vertical reflection on x-axis. Now, both these things are very different, but you get the same result, right? Both are different things. Let me be very clear at this stage. Horizontal reflection on y-axis and vertical reflection on x-axis, both are different things. But since the functions are periodic, we get the same result. So normally, when we have this kind of an equation, we are saying theta belongs to real numbers, right? So that is why, uh, you know, both approaches to sketch this graph results into exactly same solution, right? Let me show you this uh, here. We'll make a graph approximate, right? So let me begin by sketching sine theta first, and then we will reflect it on either side and see if really, uh, if we really get the same result. So I'm sketching sine theta. So sine theta is a graph which is kind of like this, right? So that is sine theta. So this graph which I'm sketching is sine theta, right? So if I have to reflect, I mean, continue this graph because the domain is all real numbers, it is kind of like this. So it's periodic, so it repeats, right? So that is the whole idea, it's, it's periodic, it repeats. So this is my sine function and in this particular sine function, we have time period of 2 pi or 360 degrees. Let me write 360 degrees here now. 360 degrees, right? So that is maximum 1, minimum minus 1. So that is sine function. Now if I adopt the first approach, that is reflection on y-axis, sine of minus theta, then it means what? It really means that all these points will be reflected on the y-axis like this. So we'll get a mirror image, right? So this point, which is maximum here, will not appear at 90 degrees, but will appear at minus 90. Do you see that? And uh, let me just consider the first half, uh, first wave on the right side of zero. Now that point will come here, and then this point will appear right there and that point that means completing the wave will be here so basically I'll get a sine function which will be kind of like this do you see that so I could say that this what I've drawn here the sine wave is the reflection of sine of mine is a reflection of sine theta giving us the result of sine of minus theta horizontal reflection do you see that so that is this wave now, let me use another ring, which is kind of similar, uh, but for reflection on y-axis. Let me sketch the same graph with reflection on y-axis. Reflection on y-axis means this point gets reflected here. That remains. This goes there. This remains. So what I get here is a function, which is kind of like this, right? So do you see that? So I get that portion of my graph. Right, so I get this portion of my graph. 
So that I am saying is is what? S y equals to minus sine theta. Do you see that? Now if you consider the domain of all real numbers and if you kind of extend this, you see it overlaps. Do you see that? So both are exactly the same functions. Perfect. So that is what I want to highlight in this particular video. So if you have a question to sketch sine of minus theta, you could either start thinking like this. Anyway, if you extend it, right, if you extend it, uh, well, you get the same function. Do you see that? So here again, you get the same function. Or you could write this equation as minus of sine theta and sketch it, right? As you know, this function is odd function, right? It is odd function and it is symmetric. about origin and therefore both the waves match overlap one another and you get exactly same graph so I hope the concept is clear so the graph in in red actually is the graph of y equals to sine of minus theta which you could sketch by adopting any of these approaches directly a sine of minus theta or writing this function as minus of sine theta, sketching and then extending, right? Either way, you would actually do it, right? So that is how you should be doing it. I hope it helps. Thank you and all the best.